What's going on plugins welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to talk about Duke's winning streak and their first opponent in the NCAA tournament before we get into this video make sure you drop a like and if you're new here sub to the channel and become a part of the family now let's get into the video Duke might be the hottest team going into the NCAA tournament they recently just beat Virginia for the ACC championship Duke is currently on a nine game winning streak and the team is playing great basketball at the right time we have to give a lot of credit to John Shire, who's having an historic season right now. He became the first head coach to win the ACC tournament as a player and a head coach. He is now the third coach to win the league championship in his first season. He's also the first head coach in ACC history to go undefeated at home in their first season. So it's safe to say that John Shire was the right guy to replace the legendary Coach K. John Shire showed he's a great head coach and he knows how to make adjustments late in the season when the team is struggling. Before the nine game winning streak, Duke was on a two game losing streak, losing games to Miami and Virginia. They could have easily went on a terrible losing streak, but John Shire kept the team focused and that led them running the table and winning an ACC championship. But now can Duke make a run for an NCAA championship in John Shire's first year as a head coach? Duke has their hands full in their first game of the NCAA tournament. Oral Roberts is also on a winning streak. They have won 17 straight games. The last time they lost a game was on January 9th. They ranked third in the nation in scoring offense with 84.2 points per game. So this team is coming in hot and they could shock us all and beat Duke. It's a slim chance it can happen, but y'all know once the NCAA tournament starts, anything is possible. They made a run before March Madness in 2021 as a 15 seed. They made it all the way to the Sweet 16, making them the second 15 seed to go that far. And they have the players to make a special run like they did in 2021. Max A. Smith is their leading scorer, who is an undersized guard, standing at six foot, but he's still a bucket on the court, and he might go off for a big score night against Duke if they don't respect his scoring ability. He plays with a lot of intensity, and he's a solid scorer from the perimeter, so I won't be shocked if he comes out and drops 20 to 30 points he's legit plugins they also have a player who's 7'5 which is the tallest player in college basketball right now Connor Vanover is the second leading scorer on this team with 12.9 points and 7.2 rebounds per game it's going to be a good matchup in the paint between him and Derek Lively who's also a seven footer so expect some exciting plays in the paint Duke on paper has the better players to win this game Freshman center Kyle Falowski has been huge for Duke. Right now, he's the leading scorer, averaging 15.4 points per game. And he's the leading rebounder in steals with nine rebounds and 1.2 steals. He was recently named the ACC Tournament MVP after averaging 19.7 points. I feel like Oral Roberts has no answer for him, and he will dominate this game. Tyrese Proctor has been a good playmaker for Duke during their winning streak, making good decisions on the court and not turning the ball over. Jeremy Roach is the second leading scorer on the team, averaging 13.3 points per game. Tyrese Proctor's presence on the court has made it easier for Jeremy Roach to score, so if they're in sync and playing well, Duke should be fine when it comes to their guard play. I hope Dariq Whitehead can have a big performance this game. He has been coming off the bench. He's starting to get some confidence going, so he's bound to have a good game. He showed some flashes dropping 16 points against Miami on March 10th. Derek Lively should be a force on defense this game. He's averaging 2.3 blocks per game. He's a great rim protector. So he's going to be a big part of Duke winning games in the NCAA tournament. It's going to be a game where he will have a big time block or a rebound in crunch time to secure the win for Duke. So overall, this is going to be a good game. It might come down to the last possession. Plugins, who do y'all think will win this game? Duke or Oral Roberts? Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Duke is the fifth seed and Oral Roberts is the 12th seed. I'm going with Duke winning this in a close game. Make sure you drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. If y'all want me to drop more college videos, smash that like button. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.